In following up the choice tutorial, I want to show you another module that allows you to get input from your students. It's the questionnaire module. And what makes it different is the ability to ask multiple questions of your students. Whereas with choice, you are limited to just one. The question module is also different from building a quiz because you are not assessing the student, rather you're just gathering input and information from the student. So let's get started. I'm in my course, I'm going to turn editing on, I'm going to scroll down to the block where I want my questionnaire to appear. Uh, I'll select the activity drop down menu and then scroll down to questionnaire. And from here, of course, you will recognize the field to put the name and summary. Remember, the name is the link that will appear on the home homepage, and the summary is just a short explanation for the students. You can see in my example, I am planning on setting up a learning inventory, and I just give my students a short summary that this is just a questionnaire to let me know how it is that they best learn. So as we scroll down, you're going to, first of all, notice that you have timing options if you want this questionnaire to be open for a certain date or a certain amount of time. But then as you get down to the response items, you have a lot, other, uh, lot more options that you have to choose from. So the type is going to identify how many times and how often you would like for the students to respond to this particular questionnaire. The respondent type will allow the student's name to be shown, or you can opt to have that in an anonymous mode. Don't worry about the eligibility. The role is something that is applied uh, at our district level Moodle site. Um, and then you get an option of how it is that students can view the responses from the questionnaire. So you can opt if they, if you never want them to view it, if you want them to view it after they've answered, the questionnaire or even after the questionnaire is closed. Of course, you can always change the option to save and resume the questionnaire again later. And the submission grade will give the students a grade upon completion. Some of the content options, you can create this from new. Or if you have started other questionnaires, you will see them in a list here. And now you have the opportunity to use that questionnaire as a template. Now you can go in and change just a few questions or a few options or that sort of thing. Of course, we'll see the grouping option and the restriction option. And both of these we will talk about in upcoming tutorials. So for now, let's just uh, save and display so that we can get in to building this questionnaire. There we go. At this point, once we're in the questionnaire module, we're going to click on the questions tab. And here's where you start to build uh, your bank of questions. In the drop down menu, you will have all of the options of the various questions to select from. Most of these are self explanatory. And for my example, I'm just going to select the check boxes. Then I'm going to click add selected question type. Okay, once I get to this point, I'm actually building the question. So here's where it is that I'm going to enter the question text and possible answers. But the question name, notice it's not required, but it is a nice way of organizing the type of question that you're going to ask. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to fill my options in and we'll come back and discuss this in just a minute. So here are my questions. I gave my question name, you best learn. That'll just be an indicator to me of the type of question that I've asked. I am going to require this response. I don't care how many boxes the students check, so I'm going to leave the forced responses to be zero. My question text has been entered along with my possible answers, and I'm just going to scroll down and save my changes. Notice this puts us back at the point where we can now select from the drop down menu another question type and add the question for that particular type. Of course, I can always go back and just make it an entire questionnaire of the check boxes option. Notice too that as you start to get more questions, you now can reorder the questions in the manner in which it is that you want them to appear. 
There is a page break option in the drop down menu for long questionnaires that you want to divide questions up between multiple pages. So this wraps up the tutorial on the questionnaire module. It's very similar to the choice module. It just lets you add multiple types of questions for gathering student input. So how could this be helpful in gathering input from your students? What types of questions would you like to ask them? What are you curious to know about? It's those types of things that I want you to take some time right now to set up either a choice or a questionnaire module onto your course Moodle.